Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. It's time for the top and bottom of the deck, guys. This will be good through, let's see, December 31st through, I never look at, I'm sorry, I never look at the calendar. I'm horrible at this. December 31st through January 8th. Make it good through the 8th. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising, your Venus sign reading if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play it from the perspective of a cross watcher. Cross watchers are always welcome. Everybody's always welcome. Thanks for stopping by to say hi. If you're new, think we might vibe and stuff. Come hang out some more. You can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. If you've been here before, thanks for coming by. Once again, it's good to see a familiar face. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos to be circulated to those who might need the messages. Figure out what I'm doing here. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading, and if it's just simply not your message and not vibing with you at all, just leave the cards on the table and walk away. Okay. So I'm bringing back the classic, top and bottom. Those of you who've been hanging out for a minute know how we do this, might remember how we do this, but go by the elements. It just makes for a faster, easier read. And it will time constraints and stuff because that kiddo in there can wake up any second. So, all right. I think we're just going to hop right into it. Okay. <laughs> Set that aside. Set that aside for now. Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Two, two, two on the clock. All right. What are you doing in here? Six of Pentacles popped out, but it's from the wrong deck. How does that even happen? Might be significant. We'll see if it comes out of this deck. Okay. It feels like it's awake. All right. Three swords at the bottom of the deck. person you're dealing with. Queen of Cups came out in reverse. Somebody might be a little bit emotionally closed off. King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, upright. Well, the deck's awake, so one more good shuffle. A little bit of an odd couple here. Could be dealing with a water sign. bit of a mirror here. Very nice, very nice. Bottom of the deck. Ten of Wands. <coughs> Ten of Wands. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
past, present, projected, future. Earth signs. There was happiness in the past. You felt the connection, but you had to let something go to move forward with this. At the same time... This just first blush. We'll get clarifiers in a second. They were living the single life. And they were enjoying the single life. So, possibly getting out of the single life was kind of an internal struggle for them, maybe? The release of the burden. Letting things go. Regaining control. The emperor in search of his empress. Nice. I feel like they came in with communication and an offer. This is the now. It's not happening now. It hasn't already happened. It's about to. Something they gotta get off their chest. I need clarity. I need clarity. King of Cups showed back up. Put that there. One of the Ten of Wands. Oh, they're going to come rushing in. Don't know how committed they are. The Knight of Wands is the party pony. Just throwing that out there. You could have dealt with a party pony before. That's why you're not wearing your emotions on your sleeve right now. You're getting over heartbreak. Talk to me about this sun card. And Talk to me about the sun and the two of wands. Sun and the two of wands. Hereford reversed. Yeah. You weren't all about commitment. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Nine of Pentacles, they wanted to take it slow. Let's take it slow. Ten of Wands, Emperor. Ten of Wands, Emperor. See how he's holding out that globe? <sighs> you weren't all about commitment in the beginning. Something you had to let go of. Maybe you were just getting out of a commitment. Maybe you were just getting through a divorce. I don't know. There's a lot of handing. You were taking your world back. You were taking your world back. 
ready to give it to someone else. Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles. One of the Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Think y'all ready for the exchange? There's definitely an easing into this. Pentacles are all about slow energy. Give me one on justice and the ace of wands. The star. Coming to that place of healing where the playing field can be leveled out and all the BS can be cut out and the new start can begin. <coughs> one on justice and the nine of cups. Mm, it flipped out reversed. They're a little bit restless. They're a little bit unsure. One more. Five of Wands reversed. They don't want the conflict. Something about avoidance of conflict. Fool's currently at the bottom of the deck. They got nine cups. They're good on their own. You hold a cup. You're not so sure about it. I don't know, guys. Knight of Wands is looking down at this. Have we released enough of this burden to be able to start over? Is this going to lead to conflict? Hmm. All right. Give me one more on this Knight of Wands up here. It's the only one not making sense. The sun. The sun. Ready for the journey to happiness. Ready for the connection. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Alright. I'm going to leave it there, Earth signs. Full of moonology. Have faith in your dreams. All right. Me wisdom. Up 
observer. Waxing crescent moon. If I can find it. There it is. Don't give up. The situation you're asking about is still taking shape. You're nowhere near the end of the story. Whatever is happening now is just a step along the way. As they say in the self-help classics, everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. However, the Waxing Crescent Moon card is a reminder that you must still keep working toward whatever it is you want. Didn't I say this is going to be a process? Some slow moving energy on this table right now. If you can't take practical steps, spend time meditating on the question you're asking about and allow your higher self to download information to you about your best next step. Overall, this card suggests there's every reason to be hopeful for a very positive outcome to the situation you're asking about. So keep the faith. This has great potential. I feel like some of y'all are processing some stuff. You gotta work through it. For real, y'all. All right, number 49. 49. Oh my gosh, okay. Sometimes you just can't see the forest for the trees in your way. Feelings can get all jumbled, and often you hear one thing when a person says another. It can be like an echo of an unresolved past experience dubbed over your conversation. Take time out before you react. It's like the other person has no idea how his or her words affected you. Take a few steps back and lend understanding to the situation. Have faith in your connection and trust that you can come together. Take to higher ground now and cultivate curiosity about what you observe in yourself, in others, and in the landscape. You will find things much improved sooner than you know. It's all about taking time. Okay, I'm going to pause. Clear the deck. And then we're going to move on to air sign. 